Hello guys, first lesson. Let's start by opening Unity Hub. Now let's create a project, press this new icon. Let's name our project and let's put uh, into project folder. You can put wherever you want. Now let's choose a version. I'm going to use 2018.2.8 and I'm going to use 3D template uh, because one of our assets, uh, the Book of Dead, requires you to start with 3D and then it converts to high definition render pipeline. Usually I start with high definition render pipeline, but in this case, because we're using the Book of Dead, it requires you to start with the 3D template. So let's create a project project successfully created. Now let's open Asset Store. Let's go to Window, General, and then Asset Store. And let's find the first asset that we need to download. It's the Book of Dead. Probably the best environment asset right now in the Asset Store, and it's free. It's really amazing. It should be five stars, not four. Some people probably don't know how to import it and I'll show you how to import it. So uh, first you need to download, then you need to press import button and import the asset. Okay, asset imported. Let's load book of that environment. It will take a while now because it's opening for the first time and there are lots of nice graphics. As it opened, now we can test it. We can move closer. It's a bit slow for the first time. It needs to load to my video memory this way. Let's go to game controller. If you double tap on the item, it will camera will go to that item. Yeah, uh, it's nice, but uh, it's missing uh, lightning information. So probably we need to rebake the lightning maps. If you go to the lightning. Uh, there it says that you should have those maps but they are not here I, so what we need to do is to rebake uh, lightning so go to the lightning go to the scene and just press generate lightning uh, I won't do that right now I will do later because I know I did that before and it took me about I don't know two hours to generate lightning maybe even more uh, I don't have very fast computer so I'll, I'll do it later and now I'm gonna import uh, another asset actually if you want you can play uh, a little uh, unity has a controller as well uh, it's a first person controller and you can see uh, yeah you can walk around uh, the asset is really really amazing yeah. it's a lot faster if you build the game and, uh, and play it because we are in the editor it's a little laggy also my computer is not that uh, strong uh, and uh, I'm also recording but it's it's really really nice 
uh, once we build a, a game uh, you will see it runs a lot uh, smoother and faster and we can get uh, 6 fps so no worries but the asset is great so yep now i'm gonna import uh, another asset that's really important for our lesson is third person uh, cover shooter template so yeah let's import uh, another asset okay let's go to asset store and now let's type person cover control Cover controller, cover shooter template, sorry. Okay, and uh, I also downloaded this uh, uh, before, so I just need to import it. And now it uh, says that uh, it's a complete project and it will overwrite our current project settings so uh, it's okay uh, probably you won't be able to play uh, the book of dead environment uh, with its controller uh, but we won't use that controller anyway uh, we will use third person cover shooter controller so uh, you can overwrite and it will be fine so let's press import Let's press import again. Uh, this asset imports a lot faster. It doesn't have that much uh, graphics. So, yeah. Okay, let's open the scene. Uh, it's scenes, third person cover. And Yep, it's opened. Now you can see that uh, everything is pink and it's supposed to be because once we imported the uh, Book of Dead environment, then project changed to uh, HDR render pipeline and third person cover shooter uh, was made in 3D render pipeline in default one. So what we need to do now, uh, we need to go to edit, render pipeline and upgrade project materials to high definition materials. So it will upgrade uh, those uh, materials in third person cover shooter to high definition. Okay, materials upgraded. Unfortunately, it did not upgrade uh, terrain material. So we can go to the terrain, uh, go to the inspector, terrain, and go to settings. And now it says material built in standard. We need to say custom, and then let's create a new material. Let's go to third person cover shooter, assets, materials, and let's create. Uh, material and let's call it sand and now it's HDR render pipeline okay let's pick some color okay and let's go to the terrain and select sand okay looks ugly now uh, yeah really ugly okay we don't need that much smoothness okay it will be fine uh, we won't work in that scene uh, anyway uh, okay let's try if we can play this game now ok 
Okay. There are some materials that also needs to need to change uh, uh, on those particles. It lags now, so I'll change those. Oh, actually, I will remove those particles now. Uh, let's go to desert and let's remove them. We won't use those particles anyway. Also, on the grass material, we can change it. Uh, let's go to HDRLANA pipeline lit. And I think we changed all the materials. Let's try to play now. Okay, there is no lag. And I can play. I can switch weapons. Yep, everything works fine. Let's, play. let's go to the asset store and let's go to there so probably made a mistake Survival character downloaded. Uh, let's check it. Let's go to the demo. Okay, save that. And let's go to the scene. Okay. Everything looks fine. Now let's import the guns. Okay, let's go to asset store. PDR weapons pack. This one. Okay, import and this one is also amazing. You you get so many weapons with the, for only ten euros. It's amazing asset. I recommend to buy this asset if you don't have it. Okay, PPI weapons pack imported. Let's go. And I think we'll need to change materials in this one as well. Yep, everything is pink. So again, let's do Edit, render pipeline, upgrade project materials to high definition materials, and proceed. Uh, so Unity Engine will find now those materials that not converted and convert to high definition materials. Okay, all materials converted. Let's import uh, uh, the rest of the assets. Let's go. Soldier, this one, and import. Also, let's import dynamic bomb. Finally, high quality abandoned school. Yep, this one. And that's it. I think we finished importing all the assets. In other video, we will start working on our character.